Hi, my name is Emmy from Tablespoon, and welcome to Holiday Hacks. I think we all can agree that the best part of any party has gotta be the dips. I know if I walk into a party and I see a dip on the table, I'm gonna have a good time. Fortunately for all of us, a dip is really easy to make if you start with a block of cream cheese. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can take this unassuming block of cheese and turn it into a cheesy party dip. I'm also gonna be making a sweet dip and a bacon dip, so stay tuned to the end so you can see how those turned out. Today I'm gonna to be making a Frito skillet dip. It's a warm and cheesy dip that goes in the oven, so I went ahead and preheated that to 350. I'm gonna start with the cream cheese. I'm just gonna put this in a big bowl. Get it open, guys, I'm sorry. I'm gonna start by putting this in a big bowl. And to that, we're gonna add a half a cup of sour cream. And two teaspoons of ranch dressing mix. And then all that gets mixed together, nice and creamy. This dip is mostly cheese, which is why it is so delicious. All right, so now that that's nice and mixed together, we're gonna to put it in the bottom of a skillet. This is the skillet that will go in our oven, so you wanna make sure that it's oven proof. We're not greasing the bottom of this, we're just gonna put the cheese right in. Just gonna spread that around. Looking good. Now the great thing about this recipe is you can just go ahead and use the same bowl for the next part of the step. There's no reason to get more dishes dirty. And here, we're now gonna put a can of chili. Okay, and then to that, we're gonna add a can of chopped green chilies. And then just stir it together. All right, now this goes back into the skillet. And then obviously we need to put more cheese on top, so you're gonna take a cup of cheddar cheese and sprinkle that over. And then once this goes in the oven, it'll all get melty and ooze together and be bubbly and delicious. Okay, now we're gonna take this beautiful cheesy masterpiece and put it in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. You'll know it's done when it gets bubbly and gooey and melty. So while our Frito dip is in the oven, I wanna go ahead and show you these two other dips that I made using a block of cream cheese. This one here is a creamy spinach artichoke bacon dip. It's got a little bit of hot sauce in there too, so it's nice and spicy. I love this one because it only takes about 10 minutes to make and you can make it ahead of time and put it in the fridge and it'll keep for up to two days. And then for dessert, I have turned a cannoli inside out with this sweet creamy cannoli dip. It was really easy to make using two packages of cream cheese and some graham crackers, chocolate chips, and a little bit of sugar. And just for good measure, we're gonna drizzle the top with caramel sauce. All right, so this guy's been in the oven for 30 minutes. It's ready to go. The cheese is all nice and melty. Before we serve it, we're gonna put some Fritos on top and a little bit of green onion. The Fritos you'll wanna crunch up as you put it on top of the dip. Okay, and now just a little bit of color with some chopped up green onions on top. Okay, and that's it. The cannoli dip tastes best with graham crackers. This one of course tastes delicious with Fritos, and then our bacon and spinach dip tastes great with just about anything from vegetables to crackers. This is just three ways that we turned an unassuming block of cream cheese into dip. If you wanna find out even more dip recipes that are easy to make, head over to tablespoon.com or click the link in our bio. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time.